Hey folks, this is Billy DKY, the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be my top five tweets of the week review. December the 6th, 2009. I am reducing it from 10 to 5. I think it'll give me a little more time to discuss things and won't be so much to, for you to take in and maybe we can have a little more discussion on it. Okay, so let's start with the first tweet of the week. Uh, delayed gratification. Basically, what I'm pointing out in this is if, or what I'm getting at with delayed gratification, you know, in our society, we're taught that you should never have to wait for anything, and, and what it does is create more and more impatience, and it also makes your, more, your mind more psychotic, and if you want to try delaying some of your gratifications, the first thing you have to remember, it's not about telling yourself no, it's about telling yourself wait. So before you try to apply delayed gratification, what you need to do is truly understand baby steps. And you can go read that my blog on following the way of growth. And it'll be the, if you go in the description, it's the second blog. And baby steps is the first, um, first principle that I discuss. So basically it's like this. You don't want to, if you're used, like, let's say you want to go to Burger King. And you know you're getting ready to go to Burger King. Say, so, you know what? Before you go, they say, hey, you know what, can I wait 15 minutes? Can I wait 30 minutes? And then wait 30 minutes, you know, or something like that. Or or can I eat a banana before I go? And can I wait 30, can I eat a banana, then wait 30 minutes, and then go? So it's just about delaying gratification instead of just want everything right now, right now, right now, right now. So uh, if you give it a try, you will find it's powerful. You will not necessarily find it's powerful in the first time you utilize it. However, as you over time as you develop as you over time as you delay more gratifications you'll find it easier and easier and you'll also find that you have a lot more power that other people don't have that they didn't you didn't expect so give it a try and see what you think okay next tweet go towards peace not stimulation we do almost the exact opposite on everything I mean, if you watch uh, Seinfeld, that episode where George was doing the exact opposite of everything he normally wanted to do and his life was great. That's basically the way real life is. And the reason that is, um, let's go back to delayed gratification. What are you delaying your gratification of? Some pleasure? Or you're delaying yourself of some egotistical thing? So that's all you're really doing is delaying ego or pleasure or some combination. Okay, back to the next one, which is very related. Go towards peace, not simulation. You notice what George was doing. He was doing the exact opposite, and his life turned out great. And then once he started going back the other way, it turned back crap again. Obviously, it's a little bit of a, you know, it's a drama and it happened real quick, but it don't necessarily happen that quick. It takes time, baby steps again. Um, you know, and, and I'm not saying I'm perfect to this at all. You know, nobody, don't ever take me as saying I'm thinking I'm perfect because... I do the same thing. It, you know, I want to go towards the internet. I want to get on the internet. I want to watch TV. I want to turn on the radio. But if you, if you could delay it or you just walk away from it for a little while and you start enjoying peace, you'll get to where you enjoy peace more and more. I find as I make more spiritual progress, I really don't like being around people who are always wanting to be stimulated. I want, I like being calm now. I like, I like it. I enjoy. Excuse me, I enjoy it. Like a couple weeks ago, I went walking the woods and oh man, it just felt so peaceful. I, I was so at peace. I walked between three deer and I didn't even see them. One was on one side, two was on the other. I didn't even see them. They were so quiet. I was quiet. They wasn't worried about me. I wasn't worried about them. We we're just doing it. They were doing their thing. I'm doing my thing and everything was good. And again, use baby steps. Anything I tell you, you always use baby steps if you're actually going to apply it. Baby steps is the most important fundamental spiritual understanding, a principle that you need to understand if you're actually going to try to make spiritual progress. And it doesn't even matter if you consider it spiritual, just progress in general. Baby steps is number one. Okay, next tweet. Once you truly understand ego, a lot of things that people think can't be known are completely obvious. And people always tell me this, you know, as I've conquered more of my ego, some things are just, you know, Back in the day, I thought, there's no way anybody can know that. And then, you know, I make all the spiritual progress. Then you look back and, oh my gosh, it's so obvious. You know, it's not even funny. And people say, oh, there's no way you could understand that. And I'm like, yeah, it's completely obvious. You can start conquering ego. Some things that don't look obvious are so obvious, it's not even funny. But you'll have to experience it for yourself to believe me. Go do it. Anyway, next tweet. 
express your ideas without arguing. And you find this really hard on the internet. You know, in ordinary day life, you can do this because the person standing right in front of you, and there's a lot of, you know, you might have a fear of getting your ass whipped or something like that. You need to learn to express yourself without arguing. And, and, and I'm on topics.com some, and, and people just, it, it, it so quickly it turns into a flaming war, and, you know, people don't reserve, you know, they don't restrain their egos when they're talking to you. They, they love the joy of thrashing somebody, which they normally wouldn't do in their normal day life. It's like, it's like uh, free reign. It's like the Wild West. And it's the same on the YouTube, too, but not nearly as bad because you can block people. And, and on top of you, you can't. So the more you can express your ideas without arguing. And a lot of times we argue because... We're having a, we're getting frustrated, but not being able to get the other person to understand our point of view. You know, we're not getting them to understand, so we turn to arguing, being flaming wars and stuff like that. So, the more you can express your ideas without arguing, the more likely the other person is to hear you. And if you can't, then that's an opportunity for you to grow and to a point where you can express your ideas without arguing. So anyway, again, go towards peace, not stimulation. And, and don't let and again don't let other people fool you like a lot of times things look the opposite exactly the way they are like you see people oh man look they're having so much fun they're yeah they're just having so much fun but if you really look at it they're not having as much fun as you may think look they got so many friends they got so much entertainment but guess what a drug addict looks the same way when they first start out taking drugs oh it looks so amazing they're having so much fun they got so many friends but we know where that goes. You know what I'm saying? So, don't underestimate peace. Anyway, next tweet. When you don't want to apply discipline, you need to the most. And, and I, I'm a very intuitive guy, and it's hard sometimes because I just want to impulse and go to the next thing. And, uh, and I find that when I don't want to apply discipline is when I need it the most. So, and I know it's no different for you, and I see it in other people constantly. And, and people, you know, I, I see people who are, like myself, impulsive, and I go, okay, you need to, really need to learn how to meditate. But I can't meditate. I can't do it. I'm thinking, if you can't meditate, that's probably the very indication that you need it more than anybody else. It's not an indication that you can't. It's an indication you need it. So anyway, um, that's just another tweet. And that's really all I have to say this week. It's been sort of a slow week on uh, Revelation, so... But I still I think I'm going to try to keep it cut down to five. I think it gives me... I feel more relaxed, you know, with five. I get more time to express my thoughts without trying to rush it to get under the ten-minute limit. And you probably enjoy having a little more discourse on each one and not having so much to try to... Like, what the hell did he just say? It's ten things. Anyway, if you wouldn't mind rating, and if you want to go see my tweets or... You can go to the descriptions. I've got a link to my tweets. So, anyway, until next week. Later, folks.